welcome to Vos Goes Bites. I'm Jess. It's that beautiful time of year where we have new fresh fruits and vegetables to play with. Today I'm going to show you a peach nectarine cobbler that you're going to love. Let's go prepare our filling for our cobbler. I have a half a cup of cold water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, a third cup of packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of butter. Last, our fresh fruit, which I've sliced two peaches and two nectarines. Turn your burner on to medium high heat. And give it a nice stir. And this is gonna cook for about five to 10 minutes. You'll notice your liquid gets thick and bubbly. While our filling is cooking, you wanna keep an eye on it and stir it continuously. We'll start creating our crumble to go on top. I have one cup of flour. We'll add half a cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a stick of butter, softened. I'll be using Vosco's Greek yogurt, peach flavor to go with our peach nectarine cobbler. Beautiful color here. Nice and thick and creamy. Use a handheld mixer and just blend everything together. Our filling is ready. We'll go ahead and pour this into our ungreased pie shell. Spread it around evenly. Take your crumble, evenly spread it. Cinnamon sugar and just sprinkle it right on top. It's gonna add beautiful color and just bring out that cobbler taste. Place our cobbler in our preheated oven at 350 degrees and allow it to bake for 35 minutes. Our cobbler has come out of the oven. You can see that the crust is nice and golden brown. Let's just dig right in. Be generous with your servings. Take a dollop of our Volsko's Greek yogurt, peach flavor, and a little fresh mint. Remember, when we have new fruit and vegetables in season, try making something new, like my peach nectarine cobbler. Mmm. Bosco's Greek yogurt. Happiness in every spoonful.